Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So we've just been helping out some of the residents of Hogsmeade, a uh, Claire Bowment and the unfortunate fate of her brother. And uh, we've also helped out our good friend Serona, she of the three broomsticks. And now I think it's time to get back onto the main story a bit and uh, actually attend some classes. Because remember, we are a student. Um, so now we are going to attend the astronomy class. And in a similar vein, as you can see, I've gotten rid of our adventuring gear and given us a bit more of a studious uh, look. So uh, here we got, we've got we've actually got a tie today, which is good. So let's get to Handy it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay. Wait, didn't... Did that... What? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Oh, cool. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Well, maybe if someone had told us. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Okay. What are we... Which one are we looking at? Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. Cool. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. <laughs> Couldn't you have, like, charmed up some, like, fire spells nearby oh, or something? Uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Uh, thank you, how kind. I, um, yeah, well, thank you, how kind. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. <laughs> it's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. He's probably heard of our exploits and no doubt would like our help. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Hang on, it's Sir Weasley. <laughs> Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. I got you with that one, Gareth. I got you with that one. Uh, is Not this sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. <laughs> of course, we helped out Adelaide's uncle uh, an episode or two ago. Our meat thinks he knows everything. He even told me he can speak gobbledygook. 
Sounded like gibberish to me. Hmm. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shaw was talking about. Perhaps, narrator, perhaps. Anyhow, let's get this telescope. And, uh, yeah, as Professor Shaw says, stop being the new student. Oh, hello. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Incendio. Oh, okay. I think this is the first time I've done one of those. What's this? Another field guide? Nice. I have to remember to set aflame those uh, demonic bowls the next time I see them. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do Professor Shaw, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? I mean, not really, but I notice you dismiss divination. Why? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Yeah, Do I'm not totally confuse with her. astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. Hope you guys learn that. Hope you guys memorize that, that's important. Uh, what are astronomy tables? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Okay, well, thank you for your insight, Professor. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Alright, let's go see what Amit has to say. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you like help finding it? Uh, so that, uh, yeah, and you'd like finding it? And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Uh, sounds exciting. I'm in. I suppose I could join you. Um, yeah, come on. Let's let's go in. No need to convince me. He lent me. us his telescope. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? And there's probably danger and excitement and adventure involved. Yeah, for sure there will be. And he'll need our help. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Ooh, is that a fact? Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Oh, you do not know it's it, Emmett. You do not know it. It's not out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Duh. If you're sure. Okay, let's go. Find the astronomy table. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as... Expelliarmus! As I expected. Incendium! Hmm. 
Uh, do we need to go in there? Let us try this. No. Where? Is there something above us? Revelio. Okay, where? Where are we? Where are we supposed to be going? I assumed it, it was that way, but could it be over here? Whoa! No, no, it's not. Okay, it has to be in here somewhere. Come on, what am I missing? Oh, just walking through the door. That's what I was missing. Crying out loud. Okay, maybe, maybe that's the lesson. Unless the door has a lock on it, try and go through it first. Revelio. Uh, let's incendio. Incendio that. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Mate, oh, don't no. you worry. Not this close to school, I mean. I'm quite good with the spiders. Look, there's a table. All right. I think you should do the honors. Let's check it Go out. On, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Oh, I see. So we turn this around to kind of see the constellation. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Okay, this is it. We need to do some zooming. There we go. Lyra. Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Uh, yeah, I look forward to that, buddy. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Okay, that was pretty cool. We have unused talent points. It's, it keeps reminding us. Um, and I have been keeping them for a reason. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Very good. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Okay, we could do that. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Could meet Professor Fig as well. Now, there was one thing I did want to do. So, I believe it's outside the Charms classroom. Uh, and it was meeting up with this fellow student here, Sophronia Franklin. Uh, so let us go there. Um, oh, and of course she's not here because it is nighttime. So it's just the cats. So let's wait for daytime. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Uh, okay, Seb. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. Oh, she sounds fascinating. Yeah, okay, cool. How interesting. 
I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? <laughs> According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Uh, what did Herodiana Burn do? How did Herodiana Burn become famous by casting De Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graffhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. Okay, that's pretty cool. And what happened to her? What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while. Just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. Okay, well, yeah, we'll see what we can do. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Uh, okay, so we've got to find the entrance of the Hall of Herodi I Herodiana. I suppose I that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. Uh, wait, is there another quest just here? Revelio. Who else needs a quest of us? Was it someone downstairs? Must be someone downstairs. Anyhow, let us take a look at the map. So that's going to take us to uh, the map chamber. That's not where we want to go. We want to be going near there. Um, let's... What floor is that on? Yeah, one thing I will say about this uh, place, pretty complicated going from one area to the other. I mean, the fast travel flu network is really useful. Ooh, okay. This must be the hidden chamber. So, let us see if we can depulso it. Depulso. Oh, hello. Hello. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Let's check it out. Here it is, the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Okay, so this is going to be a puzzly quest, is it? I see. Usually, the puzzle quests are pretty good. Was as good as said she was. The last puzzly quest we did, we got that pretty cool white <laughs> robe set up. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? Are we depulsing that thing? Depulsor. Can bring up. Okay. I'm, uh. Oh yeah. We, we can pull these things, can't we? So let us. Akium. What? What the hell? What the hell was that? Okay, maybe let's not Akio them. It look yeah, it looks like we're not supposed to Akio them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Akio is not the spell we want to be using here. Maybe Depulso is. That chest looks interesting. That wasn't too hard. What was 
what's next? Herodiana's cape? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's see. So up here. Now, where are we going? Can we Akio this one? I see, so it looks like we get squished if we do something not quite right. So then what are we supposed to be doing here? Can we depulso this thing? Rebellion. I mean, okay, now what? I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. This is it. Oh, crumbs. Maybe that wasn't quite it. Maybe that was almost it, but not quite. But yeah, I, I no, we can do this. This this is right. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh, if that's what the goal is, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Herodiana's attire. All right, let's get up high. So why would one not just push this? Revelio. Oh, that's why. Um, uh -huh. Okay, are there any more? Ooh, there's something up there. Um, let us try... Accion! Okay, and now? I see, so that's a lower platform still, isn't it? Uh, we need to move it this way, don't we? So... But wait, if we push this that way, are we going to be able to do this? Let's try that. This has to be right, right? This has to be right. Uh, so now if we push this... I see. The switch reset everything. Uh, Good to know. Okay, I gotta say, I did... Uh... Accio! I was struggling with that one for a little bit. Did have to use the old noodle. But we got there. That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Burn after all. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Alright, let's take a look at it. Okay, where's uh so she's not too far away actually, is she? Um what would be the quickest way to get there? Up here? No. Wait, would that be Uh 
Yeah, this, this is the way, right? Charms? Nope. Up one more. Man, How this castle. Nice you, this castle, friend. guys. We could just flu flame there. That would be a little bit lazy, wouldn't it? Ish. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I think we might have to flu flame there. Alright, and if we are going to be handing over this thing to Sophronia, well, if we're going to be showing this thing to Sophronia, then we should at least check it out, shouldn't we? So, what was it? It was a hat? No, oh, that's something else, silver spectacles. Uh, it was a hat over here. High Society Fedora. Uh, not... Oh, of course, wait, it would be a glamour, wouldn't it? Would it be a glamour? I think it would be. Let's see. There we go. Herod... Herodiana's cap. Okay. Very Robin Hood. And robes. Of course, her cape. Um... Interesting. And... Wait, what was the other one? Was it a scarf? I don't know. I don't think it was a scarf. It was, a. Uh, was it gloves? It was... Hang on, it was a hat? Was the cape... And robes, could it be? No. I mean, uh, an outfit? Yeah, yeah, it was. Here you done as attire. Okay, that's... interesting. That's interesting. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's, let's show Sophronia. Well, did you... Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Um, yeah. Take a look. Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest depulso master of all time. Okay, I think the You're cape looks pretty cool. You're my favorite hero. But I'm not too sure about the whole uh, the whole get up. Hmm, most curious. We will have to think about that, guys. We will have to think about that. Anyhow, uh, let me just take a quick look at the other quests in the Shadow of the Study. This is... Oh, this is what Sebastian wants. We're going to learn Crucio. The Lost Child. Natty... Okay, that's... Oh, this is good. Okay, could be Dark Arts time, guys. Could be Dark Arts time. But all of that will happen next time. That is all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.